Making headlines in the Fox cities now this morning. It's a local five this morning exclusive. You'll be happy you didn't miss. The city of Nina is changing its name for one week to help support a local high school play production. Local five's Calvin Lewis is live with the mayor of Nina for this morning's big reveal. Hey, Calvin. Hey, Sally, Nate, good morning, guys. Yeah, not only is the mayor here, but we are joined alongside a number of the Nina High School students here this morning as well. How's everybody feeling this morning? <laughs> All right, awesome stuff. So yeah, so the temp this is going to be a temporary name change, of course, in part with Nina High School's adaptation of Susical the Musical. But of course, as joining us this morning is the mayor of Nina himself and temporary mayor of, well, I guess we can't really say it just yet because we're going to have a grand unveiling, but Mayor Dean Coffert here. Dean, wanted to ask you, what, what prompted this change in the first place? Well, you know, partnership with the schools is important, helping the kids out, getting the word out, having some fun, uh, getting people excited about the musical. And so one of the parents brought this idea up to me and I said, let's go for it. So we're, uh, we're happy to do it. We got Dr. Mary Pfeiffer here, the school superintendent. So it's a lot of fun and it's uh, helping the kids. So I'm excited. And what's been the response like from the community? I understand that there's been a number of businesses that have shown their support sure. in a way, right? Yeah, downtown businesses, businesses throughout the community, decorating in red and white, putting up displays, promoting the, the musical, you know, getting into the spirit of it. So that's been fun. Facebook posts are, you know, hot and heavy. Uh, not, you know, some of them are, you know, they were a little nervous because they loved the name Nina. I love the name Nina. We're not changing it forever because some people, you know, a few phone calls into my office saying, what the heck are you doing? But we're having fun and we're helping, trying to help the kids get some people in the seats at Pickard Auditorium, October 9th through the 13th. And speaking of those kids, I mean, you guys are the all-stars right here. You guys are showing up here early this morning. You guys have got to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, there we go. What do you think it says about these students showing up here and, and just kind of promoting their, their musical? Yeah, this is a great community that we live in, and the, these kids are going to go on to great things. They're going to go off to college and that. We're hoping that they come back. A lot of them come back home to Nina and utilize their skills and their education and work for some of the great companies that we have here in Nina. So that's why we do this. It's all for the kids and, you know, trying to help them out this sports, whatever it may be, because these kids are our future. So I dress up in goofy hats and have some fun. You know, it's uh, it's fun to do. All right. So the moment we've all been waiting for, I understand we've got the sign right here. If you would like to do sure. the honors and unveil what the new city is going to be called. This is the new mayor, too. So he's starting today. OK. All right. Well, hey. you guys take it away. Ready? Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. There we go. So the city of Nina for the next week will be called the city of Whoville. So it'll be running through October 13th, guys. And of course, Susical the Musical happening with Nina High School. And uh, you guys will not want to miss it. Grab your tickets now. You can reach those over online. Guys, we'll toss it back to you for now over in the studio.